Good day everybody, this is Santri from Sunny Creates. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make an embossed envelope using toilet roll cores. I have made one for my spring journal that I'm working on and I thought that um, I would show you how to do this. This is my version of doing it and I'm sure that there are many other people that do it in the similar way. This video is inspired by uh, G. I. Kerr. I have seen her envelope um, using toilet roll cores as well. I have also made one uh, similar to what she has done pr uh, prior to this. Uh, the I think the only difference is that I remember when I did one, uh, I I sewed around it, and this one I haven't sewed around. And the reason why I haven't sewed around this one is that I thought I'd give it a shot to have one where there is no sewing around because not everyone has a sewing machine, and sometimes the toilet roll course are too thick for it to go through some sewing machine. So I thought I'd give it a shot without a uh, having to sew and let's see how it came out so right now I'm going to be I'm going to show you how we make this okay so what you need is you need three toilet roll cores so I've done a few here which I'll show you just now but what you would need is that this is the one we're going to be working on so I've embossed one of them I snipped them in in half in the middle and I flattened them through uh, with my cuttle bug, sanitized them and ran them through my cuttle bug. And then I have a flower press. So I put them into the flower press for a few hours. But we, you know, you don't need to do that. All you need to do is snip them, sanitize them and place them under some heavy books uh, for a period of time until they get flat. You can see that they're not totally flat anyway. So we're going to be working on that one. That's one of the toilet roll cores. This is the other one. So that's basically one which I cut in uh, half. Well, not really half, but this measures five centimeters or two inches. And that's going to be for our flip. So this piece we can use for something else. And then this is the back of it. And you will notice that the back is not embossed. And the reason why the back is not embossed is because I am going to glue it down on three sides. So I make a pocket. And I suggest that if you are not going to make a pocket and glue it down, uh, then you can uh, definitely emboss uh, the back as well. And then you can attach it to your journal with a paper clip. So here's a few variations. That's uh, using another embossing folder. And uh, then another embossing folder. And another embossing folder. But this embossing folder is this one here. And it is um, created for Crafty Fun by Open Studio. And uh, I'm trying to find the name for it. Uh, okay, so there's a number here, uh, uh, EF1020, so I can't really find the name for it, but the number is EF1020, and it is by Open Studio. Okay. So let's look at these two variations that we did oh, on these ones here, apart from the fact that they're two different embossing folders compared to the one we're going to be using. On this one over here, I used what is called Gilda's Paste. Uh, the supplier is Baroque Art. And I used Pinotage, which is the almost great colored um, paste. And they, it is hard, it does get hard over time and all you need to do is you need to scrape some up with a knife uh, and then you can add um, mineral turpentine or whatever uh, you know thinner uh, is recommended in order to be able to make this uh, a more soluble paste. So that's the penetrage and that's the grape color. And then 
also by the same supplier, a uh, uh, manufacturer, sorry, Baroque Art in Inca Gold. And this is what Inca Gold looks like. And then on this version over here, I have used, oops, excuse me. On this version here, I have used metallic gilding polish and the color is powder blue and it is by oh my greatness comic cosmic glitter distributed by creative expressions in the uk creative expressions and today the color i'm going to be using also on the metallic gilding paste is called heather okay so we're going to try and use that today and let's see what we get in terms of our creation uh, so we can start right so what you would need is you would need um two pieces of concertina um uh, pages and if you open up them up they measure two inches or five centimeters and i scored them at every half an inch and this is normal coffee paper uh, you can use actually <coughs> excuse me you can use anything uh i suggest maybe if you want to keep your journal flat then don't use cardstock or cardboard rather use this and it seems to work quite well okay because we're going to turn this into a concertina um, envelope so that you are able to then uh, keep some of your uh, ephemera in it that you would like to add to your journal as your journal okay. so these two pieces um, I'll give you the approximate measurement of it I see that it is a little bit longer so basically what it should be is it should be the length of your toilet roll course so uh, yeah, that's not the length. So if we have to cut it out, let's do that quickly. And then we can neaten it up later on as well. I have already inked the edges and I've used vintage filter distress ink to ink the edges so that's what I'm going to do there and then let's try before we assemble this let's try and use the uh, gilding uh, paste I'm going to use my finger because even though it comes with a brush mm, I've had not much success with the brush as you can see it's quite clean <laughs> so let's use the finger the finger is the best tool right so i'm just trying to pick up the embossed areas here and i mean you can cover this but uh i don't want to add too much of bulk to my journal because as it is i kind of misjudged how thick it is and it does have a um book cover so i had gutted a book previously and i thought uh let me use the book cover and yes so uh, the journal is getting pretty thick so i'm trying to use or create a ephemera that really is going to be quite flat okay so that's that part there So the next thing we I want to do before I assemble it is that I want to chump off the corners uh, on this here so that we can have a, a rounded edge rather than such a um, squared up uh, edge.
allergies. I forgot to get my corner, my corner rounder. So here we go. Oh, that's not very neat, right? Okay. It's better. Sorry about that noise. Yes, so now let's assemble it. So I've also kept some uh, of these um, paper holders or clips so that when we start gluing it, then we can actually glue it using um, or hold it together using the paper clips. Let's take our, our concertina folded um, paper and let's add it to the back and the front. turn it this way then we'll get a little bit more room within the envelope so let's line it up as best as we can so that the page doesn't actually show and let's do it on this side as well so this is what I mean so if you glue it down this side you still got that um, part still you know to use to when you're slotting something in whereas if we glued it down this way that way so can you see that it ends over here so we don't have that little extra bit in order to be able to glue it down I hope I'm making sense Just try to line it up. Oh, that's looking good. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, we have some time to play around with the glue. Right, great stuff. So now let's add this to it. So now we're adding the front to it. Just want to add a little bit more glue onto this side. And make sure that our flowers are in the right direction. And just lining it up best as I can and then what I'm going to do is as soon as it's lined up I'm going to take the clips and clip them down just to hold them in place for a little while and let's do that on this side as well Okay. So while that is drying, we can still work on it. Two pieces of material let's see how wide they are they are approximately one and a half inches wide and um, long it will be the length of your toilet roll core 
so what we're going to do now is we're going to glue one to the bottom and then the next one is we're going to take it to glue the flap on Just adding some glue to the back of the um, the, the pocket. Oh dear, I meant to use fabric glue, but thankfully this is going down, so we kind of okay the <laughs> in the back. Let's not make the same mistake in the front. Just. Moving this clip a bit because it doesn't look like it's even. Mm -hmm. Great stuff. Also, just moving this clip a bit should be dry pretty soon. Okay, so this is fabric glue that I'm using. Uh, and it's a brand. I'm not sure whether it's available internationally, but this is fabric glue uh, from Dollar. And you can get it here in South Africa in most of your craft shops. I'm here in Centurion, so I get it from her Annie's. And it's the first time I'm using it, so let's see how it works. Right. So these should be dry now, and they should be stuck together. Yep. So we can remove them. Now we're going to do the back and let's add some glue onto the back. Now you can, I just want to say that on the flip, on the reverse side of the flip. So this is the side that, you know, is going to go to the front and this is the reverse side of the flip. So you can actually... Uh, put um, you know glue a piece of pattern paper on it uh, if you would like but uh, to me it's unnecessary and I am trying to keep the uh, this project to be quite uh, thin or flat hence the reason why I am not doing that so I'm going to just leave a little bit of a gap and I am going to then add that on It's a bit hard to see, I must admit, in terms of me, you getting it. And the reason why I'm comfortable doing it this way is because I am actually going to make this a pocket. So when it does lie, it lies flat down. You can actually turn it around as well. And you can actually add it to the front and then decorate the front if you want to so for example you can do that and decorate it that way as well okay so maybe we should just do that a little bit of a gap there okay that's not sticking too well probably because we put glue initially on the wrong side but my previous one I did it that way but I guess we can also do it this way if we know we're covering the front Ooh, that's 
seems a bit short there. So let's take our pins and let's cover it as well. And let's just put them in place to hold it in place. I'm keeping it pretty short in the front. And the reason is that uh, I don't want too much of the paper to show in the front. I mean, sorry, the material to show in the front. So let's let that dry for a while. And let's continue embellishing the bottom. So this is just ordinary lace. Oh, I also got this from her Annie's. And I'm going to be adding this to the bottom. Sort of there. is I added the lace and then I snipped it off to make it look a little bit neater and then while that is drying I've got some yarn I think it's called goodness gracious what is this called <laughs> I'll think of it and I'll put it down in the eyelash eyelash trim that's what it's called right so I've got a bit of that and then I've made a a little fabric snippet uh, just with some material uh, cut up doily and uh, I, I sewed it on a little button okay so that's fine and there we go on that side and now we can actually add the the lace to the top Oh, you can add as much as you want to or as little as you want to so I'm going to add that there and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to place it here so yes it is going to be a little bit bulky uh, but you can uh, you can decorate it as you know to your desire and depending on whether you have enough um, space in your journal you can make it flat or you can make it more bulky by embellishing it in different ways okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get I'm trying to get the glue where it's supposed to be and it's certainly not supposed to be on my fingers so not very successful with that so let's try that there you go so 
so that's a completed one and if you will notice um i've tried to show you how you can do it in this manner so um where you put the fabric from the back to the top but in this journal over here i did it a bit differently in the sense that i put the fabric into the cover onto the back of the flip so that is what i started doing on this one and then i thought maybe i'd flip it around to show you that there is a different way of doing it as well so these two versions of it and as i said you can embellish it as much as you want to i just want to try and keep it as flat as possible so if we have to look at if we have to put this in a page or on a page hmm, let's see hmm, that that would go pretty well yeah that could go quite well and then let's see You can add a little pocket there. Yes, I like that. I think I might add that to there. Let's do it. It goes well. Three sides. So we leave that to dry and then we will add that in there so there you go that's all done and dusted so i do hope that you like my tutorial uh i'm trying to do as many um ephemera we i'm using recycled products so this is the third one in my series of using uh recycled cardboard and um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and uh, please consider subscribing to my channel i'd like to bring you more videos of this nature where i use recycled products in order to be able to um, embellish my journals and um, thank you for watching thank you for spending your time with me and i'll see you in a bit please do subscribe and do give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. So here's the one on this side. Quickly. And here's the other one on this side. Okay. Bye everybody. Take care. Be blessed.